with the bye week coming up. But you see the record in football over the last five seasons. The Giants are the worst amongst them. And a lot of scrutiny will be on the general manager today, Dave Gettleman of the New York Giants. He drafted Christian McCaffrey eighth overall in 2017. He drafted Saquon Barkley second overall in 2018. And when the Giants and Panthers play today with Dave Gettleman as the general manager, neither of those highly drafted running backs will be on the field. Both are out with injury, Sam. Wow. Yeah, things have not been good. I, I live in New York. I have watched the Giants the last few years very closely. Still seeing that full screen right there is very jarring when you see teams like the Jags and the Lions better off than the New York Giants. Randy, what is the biggest problem the Giants have right now? Well, first off, I just think for the history of the Giants, the, first, the fans deserve a little bit more than, than what they're getting. But let me talk about Joe Judge being able to come from the wide receiver coach in New England. I sit up on this television and talked about leadership, talking about the wide receivers for the New England Patriots underachieving, why Tom Brady left because he didn't have any weapons or the weapons for him wasn't playing no good football. Then you go bring this man in to be the head coach of the New York, New York football Giants. So already, that was my question and concern about the leadership and who y'all going to have at, at, at the front leading these guys. You know, you have guys like Saquon. You bring in Galladay as a, uh, as a wide receiver. You got Danny Dimes. You have a great football team of, 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 of young guys to be able to put together. But now you're talking about the guy that you thought was your guy. Now he's not your guy. And it hasn't been two full football seasons yet. So, yes. Still a concern. Yeah. I think their head coach, it starts from the top. It's still a question for me because they still have guys on that football team that can play some damn good football. Well, that's where I look at this. Is this a bad team or are they just playing bad? I think it's they're playing bad. All right? So you, you, you see where the owner of the Giants is like all upset and things. Why? Because he thinks it's a better football team. You mentioned some of these young players, Daniel Jones. Okay, Saquon Barkley, we get it. He's hurt, all right, with the ankle right now. But, but Kenny Galladay, they, how much money they pay this guy, overpaid for a receiver that was hurt all but five games last year. So he's had a history of energy. So some of the decisions that they've made, all right, that's what, you know, you kind of question. But look, there's some talent on this football team. Yes, it is. It's a it, bad word. I, I hate but, using the word talent. All the word talent, and they got all this, and they got all that. We started this show talking about the importance of offensive line. Dave Gettleman, when he got the job, he talked about one of the he, first things out of his mouth was like, mollies. hog mollies. We got to get all those guys up front. I think it's one of the worst offensive lines in football, okay? Daniel Jones turns the ball over repetitively because of sometimes he's running for his life out there. I mean, so... The offensive line, the main goal, has not been built up to par for this team. But so, how much time do you want to give a guy? I understand the frustrations of all the people in New York, but welcome to mediocrity. This is what it is. This is what the New York Giants are. I mean, they just are a team that are just trying to get by because built, they don't have the foundational pieces, and with that, they will continue to fail. Yeah, the mediocrity in New York Giants is just so jarring, though. Yeah. Like, in my lifetime, I grew up, my dad was on the Giants, so I kind of grew up a Giants fan at the end. We, they won a Super Bowl every decade. It was Lawrence Taylor, Bill Parcells. It was somebody winning a Super Bowl every decade for this team. There was and, some team with the perfect season that could not complete it because <laughs> of the New York Giants. Tell okay? them, I mean, yeah. But I think what the, the problem right now for this team, the good, you look at the good teams, that triad. I was talk about the triad GM head coach quarterback if you nail three out of three on that like say the Buffalo Bills have done that right now they've got it flowing okay they're on the same page there's a clear plan clear direction and you know that all three of those guys are great at their job what are we what are we batting here for the New York Giants are we two out of three one out of three are we 0 for three like there's just so many question marks that's why I don't know that I have an answer but it is it is very disappointing to see one of the great franchises struggle the way that they have it's it's uh it just kind of blows your mind a little bit Randy to your point what do you think they need to start with in terms of changes not making any changes just trying to get guys healthy again because at this point the injury issue has to be the most pressing you know uh, just by reading you know judges it starts with me and I think that if if, if he's saying that it starts with him then hopefully we can see a better team because like we talk you're talking about winning a Super Bowl on, on all different uh, in three different decades you know we talked about Tom Coughlin that's why I say that fan base that fan base de deserves more and they have the talent on that team and that's a word you don't like to use but I'm telling you they got some guys on that football team that yeah, can but play. It, and you're right accountability the fact that Joe Judge stepped up and said it starts with me 
Absolutely, you're right. It does. But we need to see it, but though. Every we coaches, see it. coaches need to time see. to build, too. But I mean, every, but Saquon's out, like you said. Blake Martinez also out. Middle linebacker, running back. These pieces. I mean, those, those these are easy excuses for coaches to say, what do you want me to do? I mean, injury. Some quick, of that, yeah, that injury goes to Baltimore? how you practice. Like, the best teams that I was ever on knew how to practice. There's some teams that, like, they try super hard in practice and they win practice, but guys are on the, gra guys are on the ground, guys don't make it through the year. Like, there's something about practicing smart, too. I'm I'm not saying that I know that they are or they aren't, but when you look at the injury bug, like every single team in the NFL could use injuries as an excuse. Sure. So how you practice, how you rest, how you recover, that, that's a part of the new age football <laughs> going forward, you know, how they're doing it right now. Yeah, yeah he's definitely funny. an old school guy. I mean, there's no doubt about that, which makes it jarring sometimes when you're not winning games. When you are winning games and you're Bill Belichick and you do things the way you do it, these young players are going to respond just because you're winning. But when you're not, like Joe Judge right now, it makes things a little more tricky. They, it sounds like they've got some time to figure it out. Like Adam reported that they're not looking to make any changes right now with the bye week coming up today. They get the Carolina Panthers at 3-3. Three and three. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.